Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nicole and I was generated by artificial intelligence. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make unique talking avatars like me by using a few different tools that are really easy to use. For some reason, most of my friends wear the same thing and go to the same places every day. There's no reason for that. With a little bit of practice on what we're about to go over, you'll be generating consistent characters with natural voices really soon. The possibilities are limitless. You just need to use your imagination. Sure, avatars can be used for boring things like customer service and onboarding employees, but I'm hoping one day I might even be a news anchor or an actress. I mean, couldn't you see me in a Red Bull commercial right now? You just need to use your imagination. Hopefully, you're ready to go create some really cool stuff with artificial intelligence now. I'm going to show you how to generate your very own avatar, and a few variations that way, your avatar isn't boring. We're also going to generate a script, a natural sounding voice, and even a unique background setting. And if you want to continue learning how to use artificial intelligence, now would be the perfect time for you to subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is generate the initial image of our character. And I'm personally going to use Midjourney, but you can use whichever text image generator you prefer. So you just want to start by doing a forward slash, then typing in imagine, and then following that with your prompt. And for this prompt, it says full body portrait of a brunette woman with blonde streaks, wearing a black sweatshirt, semi-realistic, confident, shallow depth of field, AR23. And just press enter. All right, let's check out the photos that Midjourney came up with. So from here, you can just uh, select whichever photo that you would like to use for your character. If you would like to try a different prompt, you could do that as well. Uh, that's really the key to getting the best character is just trying different prompts until you really come up with the one that you wanna use. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna go ahead and select uh, that second photo. And whenever you do find a character that you would like to use, you just wanna go ahead and upscale that. So to upscale the second photo here, I'm just gonna click U2. This is the upscaled image of our character and you can just click on it and open it in browser. And that's gonna pull up the high definition version of it. And from here, you simply just right click and save image as. That's gonna download it to your computer. And if you'd like to just go ahead and use that image for your character, you can do that. Um, and use that photo to generate your video. However, we're going to go ahead and generate a few variations of this character. That way our character can be in several different settings in our video. To start generating variations of our character, what we're going to do now is go ahead and open up the image again and right click. And we're going to copy the image address of this photo. And we're just going to come right back down here to the prompt bar, do our forward slash imagine. Then you want to paste the image address just like that. And what we're actually going to do now is copy our initial prompt, the one that we use to generate the initial image. And we're going to paste that in our prompt bar just after the address there. And from here, you can just slightly change up this prompt a little bit. For example, we're gonna get rid of the wearing a black sweatshirt and replace that with something else. For example, I'm gonna type in ski jacket and let's see what Mid Journey comes up with. All right, let's go ahead and check out these new images. And I'm just gonna open it up in the browser and I'm gonna go ahead and split the screen actually that way we can compare it to the original image. And those are pretty similar. They aren't identical, obviously, um, but they are pretty close. So I think this fourth one over here is the most similar to our initial image. And again, you may have to go through this process several times, but for the time being, we're just gonna go ahead and move forward with the image in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, the fourth variation. And we're just gonna go ahead and upscale this photo as well. 
This is the upscaled variation of our initial photo. So let's just go ahead and open it up in a new tab and compare it to the original. So that looks pretty similar. Again, obviously they're not identical, um, but it is pretty close. And if you were to go through this process several times, uh, eventually you'll kind of get the process figured out and you'll learn how to create fairly consistent characters. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with this one right here. And just like we did with the initial photo, you want to go ahead and right click and save image as that way we can use it later. The next step is to remove the backgrounds from the avatar photos that we just generated. That way, after we generate the video, we can add in our own background and create our own settings. And there's a ton of free background removal software out there. Um, one I've been using lately is express.adobe.com. Um, they have one that you can use for free. I know there's also another site called remove.bg. Um, they allow you to remove the background for free there as well. So after you remove the background, what you want to do next is actually add in a green background to your avatar photos. That way it'll make it a lot easier to remove the background again after we actually generate the video. I would also recommend enhancing the photo uh, before generating video with it. You can adjust the contrast, the brightness, everything like that. That definitely will help the final product. And then once you've enhanced your photo, Again, you just want to add in a green background and I would recommend adding in a darker green um, with the video generating software we're about to use. Sometimes the brighter greens do actually bleed through the image of the avatar. So I've just found it more useful to use a darker green background. And then once you have that dark green background, you just want to go ahead and download this image. And you're going to do this with all of the avatars that you're going to be generating video with. Now that we have the images of our characters, we're going to move on and generate the script for our avatar. And I'm going to use chat GPT to generate the script. I didn't even use chat GPT to generate a script for the avatars in this video. Um, I came up with all that on my own. You know, if you know what you want your avatars to say, there's no reason to generate a script, but it can definitely make things easier uh, if you have writer's block. So this prompt right here says, you are an AI generated avatar who is starting a YouTube channel. Your name is Nicole. Write a funny script for your first video where you will be teaching people how to use AI tools to generate their own avatar. And just press enter. I'm not going to read through all of this, but just the beginning to kind of give you an idea of what it says. It says, hi everyone, my name is Nicole, and I'm here to teach you all how to generate your own AI-powered avatar. Now, I know what you're thinking, Nicole, I already have a perfectly good human avatar. Why would I want a digital one? Well, let me tell you, having an AI avatar is like having a superpower. You can make them say and do anything you want. Plus, you'll never have a bad hair day again. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, so you can definitely tell um, that ChatGPT tried to make that funny. Uh, personally, I wouldn't have wanted to use that in this video, but that can definitely give you an idea of how you can generate a script. Now, from here, you just want to copy this script, and we're going to go ahead and generate the audio now. The video generator that we'll be using does also generate audio. However, I don't think it's the highest quality and depending on what you're generating your video for, um, you may want some higher quality audio. So that's why I would recommend using Play.ht. That's what I use to generate the voices for the avatars in this video. And I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I think you get 300 words for free uh, whenever you first sign up. So uh, if you're wanting higher quality audio, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Once you get logged in to play.ht, you can just click create audio. And I would recommend selecting use ultra realistic voices. And from here, you can simply just paste in the script that you copied previously from ChatGPT. And to change up the voice, uh, you can click on the little pink box on the left-hand side. And from here, you can try out the different voices and find which one works best for you. So let's go ahead and see what all is in here. So here's what a few of the voices sound like. Alfonso has been one of my favorites so far. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to press the bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new- At the 90-day marker, it's a good idea to check in and review the employee. Extreme success by death. Like many other philosophers who have great- Merging neuroscience, psychology, and mindfulness with practical takeaways for being more focused in our work and why- All right, I'm going to go with Alfonso. And after you find one that you want to use, just select it, click confirm. And from here, you can simply just click generate all previews. I'm not going to generate all of these because I don't want to um, use up my words right now on my account. So I'm just going to generate that one line right here. That way we can get an idea. And here in a second, we're going to generate some audio with the video generator. And that way you can compare the two. So let's go ahead and see what this audio sounds like right now. Hi, everyone. My name is Nicole, and I'm here to teach you all how to generate your own AI-powered avatar. All right, that's really nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that. And now we're going to move on to the next step. Now is the fun part. Now is when we actually generate the video. And we're going to be using a website called DID.com. And there's another video generator out there that I've used. I believe it's called movio.la. I'll put a link to it in the description in case you wanna check that one out as well. But so far I've liked DID.com the most. Once you get logged in, you just wanna go ahead and click on create a video. This is where you'll upload a photo of your avatar. You just click add. And then if you use a different website to generate the audio, you can go ahead and upload the audio right here. That's what I'm gonna do right now. And just to show you the difference between the audio quality of DID.com and Play HT, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the script into DID and we'll go ahead and listen to what the audio from DID sounds like. Hi everyone. My name is Nicole and I'm here to teach you all how to generate your own AI powered avatar. Now, I know what you're thinking, Nicole, I already have a perfectly good human avatar. So that was DID's audio. Now let's go and listen to play.ht audio. Hi, everyone. My name is Nicole, and I'm here to teach you all how to generate your own AI-powered avatar. Definitely a really big difference there. Now, again, it may not be that big of a deal to you, uh, depending on whatever you're generating this video for, but I definitely did notice a difference. So after you get your audio uploaded or generated, um, really just click generate video. Just like that, our video is generated and to preview it, just click on it. Hi everyone. My name is Nicole and I'm here to teach you all how to generate your own AI powered avatar. There we go. That's our new AI generated avatar. Now let's go ahead and remove the green background and add in our own background. We're going to be using a video editing software called Descript to remove the green background and add in our own background. Now, personally, I've been using Adobe Premiere lately, but I know not everybody has Adobe Premiere and you do have to pay for it. And Descript does have a free tier that you can use without paying. So that's why I'll be using Descript in this video. And if you've never used Descript before, you can sign up for a free account by using the link in the description of this video. Descript is extremely easy to use. Once you get logged in, you just want to click on new project. And then you can select whichever template you'd like. I'm just going to click the first one right here. And from here, all you have to do is drag and drop the video that we just generated and downloaded and drag that onto the timeline. Make sure you have the clip selected. And then over on the right hand side of the screen, you want to click the little tab that says effects and you'll see an option that says green screen. Go ahead and select that. And right now it's applying the green screen to this video clip. So it's removing the green background. And as soon as that is finished, what we can do is add in our own custom background. So it just removed the green background and I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that title right there. And now I'm going to just drag and drop in a photo of a cafe for the background. I'm just going to rearrange these clips right here and make the background 
longer in the timeline. Make sure they're overlapping. And just like that, we have successfully generated our talking avatar, re removed the green background, and also added in our own custom background. Hi, everyone. My name is Nicole, and I'm here to teach you all how to generate your own AI-powered avatar. If you have any questions about any of this, just let me know down in the comments. If you got any value out of the video, go ahead and like it. And I'll see you all next time.